Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate adjusted residuals using Microsoft Excel and also how to actually uh, use those as a postdoc test for a Pearson chi-square test. Now in a previous video I showed you how you can generate a contingency table as the one up here and that's going to be my starting point. The first thing I'll be needing are expected values which are calculated by taking the row total multiplied by the corresponding column total and then divide by the overall total which for male married would be the row total of married and by pressing F4 you can toggle through different dollar options and in this case I need a dollar sign in front of the column because I'll be copy pasting this one down but uh, and to the side but it should always be F multiplied by the row total and there I need to fix the row divided by the grand total and that always needs to be F10 press enter or control enter and you can copy paste this formula all the way down I actually only need the formula so double check and these are my expected values if gender had no influence on marital now for the residuals um, it's in the numerator it's the observed value minus the expected value so that takes care of uh, this part of the formula and then divided by a square root of the expected values so that's this one multiplied by uh, 1 minus the row total and again we need to fix the column there divided by the overall total so that's uh, this section up here close that up multiply by and then 1 minus the column total and there we need to fix the row number divided by the grand total that again needs to be fixed so that takes care of this section and then we can actually close the square root as well and again we can enter and copy paste this formula all the way down now again I only need the formulas now if you want to use this I, I see these as Z values and therefore perform the postdoc test you need to specify a significance level in this case 0.05 is quite common and because you might want to adjust for multiple testing in this case that means we are actually doing 10 tests which is the number of columns multiplied by the number of rows we also need to adjust our significance level accordingly for multiple testing and simply dividing the original significance level by the number of tests is known as a bond for Roni adjustment so our new uh, significance level would be 0 0.005 then we can determine the Z critical value for that which is norm S inverse and then the probability and most likely you want a two-tailed so divided by two will give me the Z value um, if it's below this minus uh, 2.81 uh, it will be significant or if it's above the positive 2.81 we can use uh, Excel also we can select the cells with all those adjusted residuals on the home ribbon go to conditional formatting highlight cells greater than or less than well in this case uh, greater than and if we say greater than this one with a negative in front of it then we want it perhaps to be highlighted in green okay and then we select the same values again and again go for conditionals formatting highlight cells that are less than and then again this is my criteria and perhaps those in red indeed okay and now it nicely colors a negative means that the uh, expected value was higher than the observed value so for male uh, widowed we actually have um, the expected value is higher so we actually had uh, less than we expected and we had more here's the opposite we had more females than expected that are widowed and less males than expected and that's uh, all there is to it.